Okay, so we just um, placed and tagged a piece of furniture, this sideboard here. So let's take a look and see how this guy is working. So if I pick it and I edit that family, right, and we look at it in 3D, it's basically an extrusion, you know, with some faces on it and some material applications. <clears throat> but what you're also going to find a lot of is if I pick this, you have visibility settings, so this is one of the things I wanted to show you. And if you go to those visibility settings, it actually oftentimes turns off the 3D model in plan. And if we look at this in plan, so if I go to reference level, and um, let's go ahead and make it hidden line. What you're going to get in reference level is, let me go ahead and window around and just pick everything and filter it, is a detail item. So you have the furniture and lines and reference planes. So I'm going to get rid of the furniture and keep and the reference planes and click OK. And then I'm going to isolate the things that I just. Let's go ahead and do that again. Filter and check none. And I'll take the detail items and the lines. OK. And click OK. Then I want to come down and isolate those elements. So basically what you're seeing in plan, if we look at the top of slab furniture plan, is just a rectangle. And that rectangle is just this guy. It's basically a detail, right? A detail item that is uh, <clears throat> turned on in place of the 3D model. So it's actually turning off the 3D model and turning on line work. Um, so oftentimes you'll see that in some other files, like if you get files from the internet or from Revit City or from uh, the SketchUp warehouse, they may not have the ability to do this. So um, we'll look at a little bit um, in the next video of how if you have something that you have loaded um, or even a Inkscape asset, how you can sort of replace what it looks like in plan with um, with something that is more uh, schematic. Okay, so <clears throat> let me go ahead and close this guy down. Um, if we do place like an Inkscape asset in here, I guess we could go ahead and do that and talk about. Um, well, let's wait till the next video. So for the next video, we'll look at um, Inkscape assets and. Um, how you can alter how it looks in plan um, versus how it looks in 3D or how you can link it to a Revit uh, model. Okay.